Let's take a look at rounding of whole numbers and decimals. Here we're given a number in standard form and word form. The number is 9,642,730, and the decimal means and 158 thousandths. Let's remove the word form, and let's say we wanted to round this number to the nearest thousands. Well, we have to locate the thousands column or place value. We know about the ones and the tens, etc. And we here we see that the two represents the thousands place value. So let's underline the two. Let's apply the rounding rule. You look to the digit immediately to the right of the place value you want to round to. If that number is greater than or equal to 5, you round up. If that number is less than 5, you leave the place value as it is. Okay, so we look at to the 7. It is greater than or equal to 5, so we round up the 2, the thousandths, to, column 2, to a 3. Everything to the right goes to 0. And everything to the left stays the same. Now, because there are only zeros to the right of the decimal place, there's no di a digits greater than zero there, we can remove those zeros because they don't change the value of the number. However, the zeros to the left of the decimal are essential to make sure that the other digits other than zero are in the correct place and have the correct value. So our number rounded to the nearest thousand is 9,643,000. Okay, let's try another example. Let's round to the nearest hundredth. Now the TH ending tells us it's to the right of the decimal place. So we locate that column or that place value. We have the tenths and we have the hundredths. So the five is in the hundredths column, and so we'll underline the five. And then we apply the rounding rule. We look to the digit immediately to the right of the five. The eight is greater than five, so we round up. The five becomes a six. Anything to the right goes to zero. Anything to the left stays the same. And again, the zero at the end can be removed. It doesn't change the value of the number. And here's our number rounded to the nearest hundredth. 9,642,730 and, the decimal means and, 16 hundredths. Let's try another example. Let's say our number is a dollar amount and we want to round to the nearest million dollars. We locate the millions column. The digit 9 represents that place value. And then we apply the rule. We'll underline the 9. We'll look to the digit immediately to the right. 6 is greater than or equal to 5, so we'll bump up the 9 to a 10. Everything to the right goes to 0. And again, the zeros to the right of the decimal can be removed because they don't change the value, but the zeros to the left must remain. So our number rounded to the nearest million dollars is $10 million. Okay, let's try one more example. Let's round to the nearest dollar. So where is the dollars column? Well, that's the ones column. So we apply the rule. We'll underline the zero. It's in the ones column. We look to the digit to the right, the one, it's less than 5, so we leave that 1's column as it is. So 0 stays at 0. Everything to the right goes to 0. Everything to the left stays the same. And again, the zeros to the right of the decimal can be removed because they don't change the value. And here's our number, rounded to the nearest dollar, 9 million. 642,000, 
$730. And there you go. That's a quick introduction to rounding of whole numbers and decimals. Thanks for watching.